Okay, welcome to Dreamscape Marketing's third WordPress tutorial. Uh, today we're going to go over uh, some editing techniques for your pages and your posts. Again, uh, the sort of the theme here is the pages and the posts on your WordPress page uh, are practically identical in the way you could edit them, but there are some slight differences and we'll go over uh, both of them. So I'm going to take us over to our dashboard. And uh, you'll see here uh, our, our home screen, which you've hopefully become more familiar with. And uh, just want to go over first the editing format for pages. So we can go over here to pages. Instead of add new, we'll go to edit. And really, uh, you'll see that when you edit a page, it's not all that different from uh, just, just adding a page originally. It's the same process in terms of text input uh, and pretty straightforward. So here you have your listing of, of all pages. These are all the pages on my uh, sample website. And there are two ways you could edit. And this applies to both posts and pages. Uh, there's either quick edit or, uh, or full edit. Uh, you could also delete a page here or view it. Uh, but you know, for, the, for, the, for this tutorial, we're just going to go through editing them. Uh, so quick edit is if you don't need to edit any text, you can quick edit without actually going into the page and resaving it that way. You can, you can just click quick edit here and you can edit the name of the page, the slug, um, where it's ordered and what it's underneath. So the Dreamscape marketing page on my website is below career. Um, you could change the template if your setup uh, allows you to do that. Uh, the date it was published and also the password. We'll get into the passwords in a little bit. But that's if you wanted to edit any of these items. You don't actually even need to go into the page. You can just edit it right here and click update page. And, it, and it's very quick and, and simple. If you wanted to go into some more detail and edit some text, uh, you click edit here or actually just click the page. And uh, you'll go into the page screen. Again, this looks just like the add page, add a new page screen. Um, and the method for editing the text is, is very simple. Uh, say, for example, I wanted to change my position. Um, I'm going to go ahead and promote myself. Let's, let's change this to uh, Executive Vice President of Operations. Great. Hope my paycheck reflects that. Uh, as the t that's that's my, my text edit. And um, if I want to just preview that quickly, I could click here, Preview Changes, the same as when you add a page. And there we go, Executive Vice President, Co-Founder. Now it's, it's on the Internet. Uh, it's official, right? Um, if you want to make any other changes to the page, you could do so here. You could you could edit the image. Uh, currently, this image, you, if you click on the edit window on the image, is linking to Dreamscape Marketing's website. I'm going to leave that, and it's on the left side of the page. Um, you could edit either do either of those two things right here. Very straightforward. Um, and also here, even if you didn't use Quick Edit, you can still edit the attributes of the page, you can change what it's underneath. I still want it below career and I want it as the first because it's my, my current position. Um, the one thing that I want to call out to here is the visual and HTML views. Uh, uh, WordPress, I'm sorry, allows you to uh, edit your documents visually, which is much, much more user friendly than uh, the HTML view. The HTML view, as you can see here, uh, is all the coding that lines up your text or your images or your links in a certain way. And if you're not familiar with HTML, it's really easier to stay out of this. Um, Paige, uh, give me a call. Uh, I'll help you out with it. Uh, but you always want to be in visual. If you delete something here, it could mess up um, something you see visually on your page. And then, you know, you'll, you'll be confused and not really sure what, what's going on there. Um, so just always stay in visual as a rule of thumb. And uh, the last thing I want to go over with editing a page is if you want to make it a password protected page, a lot of times you'll have clients that you want to provide secure pages for. Um, WordPress allows that on, a, you know, on every, every package that it has. So from a, you click visibility here and it asks you if you want it public, private, or password protected. If you make it password protected, you just simply type in a password and I'm not going to obviously tell you, oh, there's my password. Uh, test there, and uh, I was going to try to keep it a secret, but now everybody could view my Dreamscape page. It's it's fine with me, and click OK, and now the page is password protected. Um, so if we hit update page, 
it should update there we go and you will see now under career if I go to dreamscape marketing it's not gonna allow me to view it without entering a password and we'll go type in the password which is now hidden uh, and there you could see the page uh, and my position is updated and the experience is updated the only difference between editing pages and editing posts if we go here if we go to posts and edit is uh, the quick edit view really that that the different things you could do there so let's go to quick edit here you could edit the same you know title slug the here the difference is instead of where it is located as a parent or child underneath a certain page now you can change the category it is uh, as well as the tags and you could also block um, comments say I didn't want comments anymore on this um, page I would just unclick comments and click update post so now we updated the post without even going in because the text editing would just be redundant for what it just did on a page. So if we go to that, uh, if we go to that uh, blog, the whyisn'tthereamatch.com from business partners, you will now see that. Let's see at the bottom. Yep, comments are closed now. No one else can comment on this page um, because you know you could do that for a number of reasons. Rather, you know, you, you let it let comments stay open only for a select period of time, or maybe um, you know you just don't want to discuss this blog anymore it's too old you know whatever the reason uh, and that's basically it so those are the high level ways to, to edit your pages and your posts uh, and the content on them uh, we'll have another tutorial with some more advanced features uh, but we'll do that at a different time i uh, hope you enjoyed it thank you